Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Carlis Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through the elbow flexion test, which is a test designed to see whether or not our patient has an ulnar nerve entrapment at the cubital tunnel. So a bit of information about the cubital tunnel. This is the space between the olecranon process at the elbow joint and the medial epicondyle. And in this space is where the ulnar nerve runs as it goes down towards the wrist and the hand. And the relevance of this is that when the nerve gets irritated in this space, it may well cause symptoms into our patient's hand, which we're going to go through in a second. And that's the reason we're doing this test. So this test is done completely by the patient. We're going to start by asking them to depress the scapula, then then going to maximally flex the elbow joint. We're then going to pronate the forearm, and then we're going to fully extend the wrist. So we're in this type of position. And we're going to hold this position for a good three to five minutes. So it is a long time. And by being in this position, it will maximally um, tension the ulnar nerve, particularly at the cubital tunnel. And a positive outcome in terms of this test is the reproduction of our patient symptoms of either pain, pins and needles or numbness into the ulnar aspect of the forearm and into the fourth and fifth fingers. So, do we use this test in clinical practice? We certainly do. Uh, it is a long test though, which is the only thing to bear in mind. If you wanted a quicker test, you can always look at the TINELS test at the cubital tunnel, which can also diagnose an ulnar nerve entrapment. Thank you as always for watching, and we'll see you again soon here on Clinical Physio.